25 to 30 assists, that's a win for the Warriors. And so ball movement is going to be key, and Jordan Poole as the point guard is going to be uh, a, a central figure in what they do with the offense. And we are officially live. Welcome, Dub Nation. Welcome, YouTubers. <clears throat> this is Poor Man's Commission, Warriors Credential Insider. My background is Sacramento. That's exactly where I would kind of go into the arena. It's right by a Starbucks. Uh, just, it's actually a really cool experience if you ever get a chance to go to Sacramento. I'm here with Rebecca. Rebecca, introduce ourselves, uh, yourself, and then bring us straight into um, <laughs> trade deadline and Sacramento. Try to make it quick because they're already in warm up lines. Go ahead. Um, yeah, so I'm Rebecca. Um, back at it. Um, just keep it short there. Um, yeah, so um, at least if you're a Warriors fan, trade deadline was pretty uneventful. Um, the only moves made were trading um, Brad Wanamaker um, to Charlotte. Yeah, to Charlotte, um, I believe, for I don't Peanut. even think for anything. For cash. For just cash. To yeah, to get rid to of save, them. Uh, 11 million in total on luxury tax, apparently, for him and Marquise. Yeah, and then traded um, Marquise Chris, um, which I think for most of Dub Nation is definitely 100% the sadder of the um, two trades. Um, because uh, I mean, Marquise. I, I get that. I get that, but like, come on, well, people! It's it's just. I mean, let's move on. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't like a totally key guy, and like we no, missed Glenn still, Robinson, uh, all of that, and Marquise getting waived the first time. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, I just yeah, it sucks. But then again, he he'll be fine. He'll be fine. He's still getting paid. Um. Oh, yeah. Uh, but at the same time, he'll be a free agent in the summer. He gets it. So, um, that's a foul. Um, Miami. Sorry? You watch Miami or something? Yeah. Uh, -oh. uh The Heat, it's a tie game with 10 seconds left uh, against Portland. Uh, the Heat okay. are without Jimmy Butler and Dragic and everything. So, yeah. Um, That's but, why they were in the Lowry rumors. Well, um, logic is, I didn't understand that one, but anyway. Well, no, Dragic, it's just because he's injured. It's nothing right. um, yeah. on that. And um, it was more, I mean, having a veteran point guard that can also play defense. I mean, it is a valuable asset. Um, I like what they ended up doing better. Um, you know, they were able to get Victor Oladipo um, while only trading away uh, Kelly Olynyk, a pick swap, and um, Avery Bradley, who had been injured pretty much this entire season. Uh, so they got Victor Oladipo and didn't have to give up um, any of their young core. Um, so, yeah, I'm happy with the war uh, with the, what the Heat did. On the Warriors, and I'm personally happy with how things went. I did not want yeah. them to trade Kelly Oubre. I don't think it would yeah. have been a good move. Um, we can go into really in depth at halftime, assuming there isn't something else to talk about. Um, yeah, um, and we're good on the on the live stream here. It looks like commercial, so so keep going for a little bit. Summarily speaking, I guess. You good? Yeah, just a uh, fouled called on the last shot because I don't know why. Uh, give us more details. Uh, Lillard stepped back three, but they called a foul. But I'm going to guess they're going to challenge it. I don't really see the foul there. Okay. Wait, they can't challenge it? We're out of timeouts, of course. Well, uh, for tonight, Draymond is out. They, uh, the team went and got vaccines at Kaiser yesterday, but it was a total of 12 
players and coaches combined. And so we, we know from the Q and A's that Andrew Wiggins and Ken Bazemore didn't want to get the, um, didn't want to get the vaccine for whatever reason. And all you need to do is go on Twitter and see that there are so many different cultural divides, social divide, political divides. It's just, uh, it's crazy, but what I don't get is it comes down to science. And so whatever. Um, and I think the Warriors didn't make a big deal out of, I mean, we're speculating like on our discord server um, that Draymond is, has this illness and is out for tonight because of the vaccine. But Steve Kerr officially said they don't know. Um, and then also uh, Wanamaker was on there, but he got traded, so he can't play tonight anyway, so we'll never know. And then Mulder was also listed as questionable with an illness. And I saw him, though, on, on a private feed, um, which is in our Kent Bazemore pregame routine video. Um, and I should actually update the, um, the title of that. And so I think Mulder's okay. And so it, it varies. I got the vaccine and for me, uh, but they got the Johnson and Johnson one dose. I got the Pfizer two dose and both doses. I was like really tired, super tired uh, the night of uh, like, I got the shot in the morning and then that night sleeping through it. It, it was, it was my tough. parents was get their tired. second tomorrow. Yeah. Um, so anyways, that is the situation with Draymond being out. Juan Toscano will start and um, take us in actually more. Luckily, we have another commercial while I can go and do something else here with the YouTube. Go ahead. Um, yeah, so, I mean, uh, looking at this game, um, the only really deal that um, the Kings made um, – they actually did make one trade, I believe, at the deadline. Is they traded um, Bielitsa uh, to the Heat. Um, so they'll obviously be without him um, and, you know, not have uh, who he was traded for yet, uh, which was, I believe, Chris Silva and uh, one of the Heat's younger guys, like that, like they had moved on from. And um, Mo Harkless, I believe. So um, they won't have him, but you know, he's not really their big um, concern. Uh, when it comes to the um, Kings, we know it well. They when we've had back and forth games between them, it's all about the three. Um, and when you have guys like Buddy, excuse me, Buddy Heald, uh, De'Aaron um, Fox, um, Harrison Barnes, guys like that, they're going to knock down the three. They're going to shoot. Uh, and then, of course, their standout star um, who's leading uh, – has a very good uh, potential to bring home Rookie of the Year with LaMelo now out uh, in Tyrese Halliburton, um, who they uh, stole basically at, um, what did he go, 12, I think? Um, yeah, dropped, so that's a kind of a steal for them is why. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so um, it really comes down to that. Um, I'm excited to kind of see some more Wiseman stuff. Um, I don't know if. Um, what? If um, Hassan Whiteside is playing or not. Okay. Let's see what the injury report says. It says day to day. Does that mean he's playing today? Um, he won't play. So that is one actually kind of good, uh, better thing, um, for them, um, as, um, or for Wiseman, because you won't have to deal with a big guy like Whiteside, as well as Marvin Bagley, their, uh, power forward is out. So it is going to be a kind of interesting game for Wiseman to see minutes in 
speaking then, um, I mean, their two biggest guys, um, in Whiteside and Bagley are both out tonight. Um, and then, um, so, but of course it's their guard play, uh, over there that really matters. Um, so ultimately just, um, kind of avoiding fouling, avoiding turning the ball over. This is a team that loves to run, loves to get out on the fast break. Um, De'Aaron Fox, baby. Yeah. He's one of the fastest guys in the league, if not the fastest. like John Morant are like so exciting to watch because they're just so up and down. Yeah. Let me make sure I put it on. What's going on at Portland, Miami? Uh, they called that foul with um three with a second left, and so Portland won. Which I am not happy with that call. The fact you make that call in the last ten seconds of a game when it was, I swear, most times of the game they would never make that call, let alone the last 10 seconds of the game. Um, so I, I'm not happy about that. Um, but I'm the sorry, heat even gonna, being I was in reading it, the comments. Uh, are, are they going to, the heat are going to lose to Portland? Yeah, they, they, they already lost. Uh, damn. We need Portland to lose. <laughs> yeah. I think we play them. What's the um, standings? I don't know. The fact that we did that well without uh, Jimmy and Dragic and stuff, but still makes me mad when the refs determine games. Yep. NBA wanted them to be actually the board of governors, the 30 owners, majority of them wanted refs to be more like robots didn't want them to be dick bavetta didn't want them to be you know whoever else you know all the names from before that were like fun to play with because they were kind of biased in a way um i'm about to tip off here me too with the ball gives it back to the ref uh so keep me posted on your end on that um man i was gonna do something now i can't remember and tip All right, so oh, I'm gonna look up the standings. Yeah. See so how uh, you know, Poole, Ubre, Wiggins, Wiseman, and Juan. Um start with an almost turnover, but it was tipped by Halliburton. Um pause when you get a clock and then some. Yeah, Blazers 25 and 18. So we're three and a half, possibly four games behind. All right, half. I'm at 11.42. Okay, ready? And, oh, it didn't it went out of bounds at 11.44. So, hang on. You can go a little bit, give us a little buffer. Yeah, that'll be better as we yeah. turn it Otherwise, over on I'm the like first play. 40, 39, 38, 37, 36. All right. Yeah, so, so we turned it over on an inbound. Is that what happened? Uh, looked like it, and then I mean, come on. First of all, come on, NBC, right? Like, how how can you screw that up? Oh my God! Uh, no. I would call time out. it over again. All time out, Steve. I would give it a Popovich timeout right now and say, guys, you're not focused. Next guy that turns it over, I'm bringing in a replacement for you. That's what I would do. But I don't know. Maybe he's giving the Steph Draymond discount. Those are some bad turnovers. I'd be pissed. I'd be so pissed. As Wiggins, Wiggins picks in God. me, JP missed. I just love the play of J- uh, Jordan Poole. Rebecca, and- they're, they're talking about the Miami Heat in the comments a little bit for you to address there. Yeah, no, I love the heat. I love the trades we made today. Um, 
I'll talk more about that. Um, at halftime. Yeah. Or even a commercial break. Um, All right. I, I love that yeah. move. Uh, All right. Wiseman got a no rep. But he blew, uh, <laughs> blew the rebound. And that guy is smaller than him. Just beast. Oh, God. And they hit a three. Mm-hmm. You see what happens? Is. Like, that's Buddy here. There's Buddy. I mean, you can't can't mess around with that. Like, you're bigger than him. Beast that in so that you score, and then they don't come back with a three. All right, Wiggs. Little post-up banker. So... There's Halliburton eight. in the corner. Oh, made He's it. Good. His feet look I, on the line. If um, what? if we ever get Halliburton, that'd be so cool. Yeah, baby, pool, pool, right to the rim. Jordan Poole. Well, Sacramento doesn't play amazing defense. Now Juan with the pick pocket. Whoa, Juan! Oh, oh, whoa. I, mean, I was like, yo, wait, wait, one. Do you have enough lift? But I think the camera angle was bad there so you know how the camera's like really up high on this for some reason let's see yo he he had that easily yeah the camera angle on this is kind of angled you know 45 degrees i feel like i don't know maybe that's no more defense let's see that's who Uh, Rashad holmes no harry giles puts that in That's, again no we're showing homes i was right okay a split second too late wiseman just you know if 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 draymond was in wiseman's body that's a block yeah they're Ooh, gonna call that a blocking found jordan you, you you just gotta you gotta know that we don't want to rack up fouls right now but the Aaron fox looks like such a baby when he has his haircut. Yeah. You know, it'd be a cool playoff matchup that would never happen is um, Grizzlies versus Kings because both of them are just totally young. They don't know what they're doing, kind of, but they're fun because they're just athletic. As it's a potential. Um, oh, play in. Right. Play in. Yeah. I mean, let's hope not. That would mean Sacramento moves up and. <laughs> Hopefully we don't continue to suck. Twenty six people watching now with no blue wrenches, so that's pretty cool. People, thanks for joining us. It's always fun to get on here, and it feels like such a long time since the last game. Well, you weren't there, Rebecca, so it's been a longer time for like five days for you. Um. Anyways, fourteen eight. We fouled whoever it was. He scored two. Eight and a half. Yeah, I guess we're just posting up wigs, running an offense through that. Oh, what a find by Jordan Poole to Ubre down low. He wanted the and one. I'm glad that we kept him around. Yep. Uh, to me, it was somewhat of a no-brainer. If you guys want to go check that – well, I think game. apparently they got pretty good stellar offers, and obviously they were probably seeing if they got an amazing offer. But that's my whole thesis: is that you you're not going to get a, an amazing offer. It's just what's out there that's amazing. There's nothing. Um, we'll talk about that. There was strong, def- uh, much better defense there. Uh, Wiseman has Harrison Barnes on him instead moves out of the way and lets Ubre go inside to get blocked. Wiseman, you have that Mitch match. You got to demand the ball. I know. He's so non beastly. Yeah, he's a little docile. <laughs> yeah, we don't want that, though. But that's a great word, but we don't want it. Yeah. He's like a little bit of a puppy. Isn't that so funny that Steph called him a caged puppy? like day one and it's like they want him to be a caged type. and there's Halliburton again yeah he's good I, I just 
Halliburton is definitely on the Warriors' radar forever. They will every trade season they will call and and ask about him. I guarantee you because he's just like Sean Livingston, except the jumper is from three. Wiggins sets his feet oh, behind right. the screen. We needed Smash. that one. Round four. Oh, we needed that one. Let's see if Tiffany's coming here. Yeah, she's here. There she is. Cool. I can log off of this other one. Save the battery in that one. Can you hear us? We can't hear. Hi. Tiffany. All right. Tiffany's here, super fan in LA. Wiseman three. Uh, you're going to have to sync up with us at some point. Um, but um, this is Tiffany, everybody. She, she gets a lot of heat from Lakers fans in her uh, native LA from the Bay. But every time you've got to just get back at those Laker fans, man. Those oh, I hate Laker fans. fans. Hey, are you, oh, Tiffany, are you able to uh, switch to landscape mode? So there's... Oh, some, yeah. Yeah, cool. Oh, nice background. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay, yeah. So we're at a commercial... And okay, so when me... we come back, we'll try and sync up with you. What are you on? What do you, what are you streaming or are you on cable? I'm on, I'm, I'm using League Pass today. Okay. All yeah, right. it's just so, really, it's been really windy here. So there's been powers going out and the, the internet's not that great. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> oh okay oh let's take a quick oh i'm gonna take a picture when we're back on tv with a warrior so that i can okay know, make it cool looking um let me just see if i can okay yeah that might work all right uh Kavon Looney is playing yes uh sorry about that um forgot to mention that I saw him in the in the pregame he did pregame routine that's on our uh channel so I don't know maybe open another tab and take a peek at Looney from the pregame what else <laughs> they're saying you look like Alicia Keys that's that's pretty cool I think so. Yeah. I'll take that. I'll take that. With, with that hairbrush. with that head bandana, you're kind of like a, a cross between Alicia and Erica. I do. <laughs> I'll take all of it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, okay. Um, so we're back. Kerr with on the clipboard to the to the squad. I'm still on a commercial break. Oh, okay. So you might be behind us. So we'll we'll go about five seconds in and then oh JTA windmill dunk is on uh, somebody tweeted. Already posted. Oh yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <Rebecca. laughs> um yeah, I just saw the notification. So somebody else retweeted it a little late. Uh, so let's let's wait like five seconds in and then we'll pause. Uh, six minutes, so we'll pause at five five five. Ah, went out of bounds. <laughs> hey, turnover. Football. But hey, we'll start at five 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 and pause that. Five five four. My bad. Uh, let us know when you're there. Okay. Um. Yeah. So behind. Um, Rebecca, why don't you talk about something? Either um, how you feel about the <laughs> trade five, for Miami. Five, 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 oh. five, 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 four. Cool. We're even. Perfect. All right. Ooh, Wiseman. Wiseman, show and go. Oh, God. Missed that. <laughs> Woo. Oh, man. Oh, man. The warts are starting to show. You know what I mean? It happens. <laughs> it happens. It's just basketball. 
Look at Juan, man. He's everywhere. The spin. Oh, so inspirational, Juan. And Juan. The slam and Juan. Okay. Okay. I'm going to okay. catch up on these highlights. Thanks, Rebecca. I want to be on <laughs> point this time. It was Wiseman on defense causing that. He, he made Buddy miss it. And then stupid foul there. Yeah, this thanks for the stupid sick. style. Like, those are some things we did when we were playing like crap. And that's we'll that's, what, that. that's what teams that play like crap, that's what they do. <laughs> Unnecessary fouls. We're, we're, Justin we're still, James. Who the hell is losing that? Losing by three to a crappy team. So <laughs> who is Justin James? I know, right? There were some guys <laughs> on on the last game I didn't know. <laughs> Whoever we played, I can't remember who we played. Philly? Yeah. Like the nice. Bradley Center. Oh, we'll take that. Yeah, Juan. Man, Juan is playing awesome. Signed him now. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> but he he deserves it for sure. He's playing really well. Oh, okay. And then Fox. Almost looked Fox. like, who is that, Giles? Almost Fox. looked like, uh, what was that? Oh, the person that scored? Yeah. Fox. That's Fox? What'd he do to his hair? <laughs> I said that he looked oh like a baby god. with his hair. He he totally <laughs> chopped it. Oh my god. My bad. <laughs> no, I you may have mentioned it, but I was probably busy doing a YouTube or whatever. And in fact, I gotta <laughs> take a picture of this. What am I doing? Jesus. <laughs> too much on my own plate that's my problem he looks younger than jordan pool with his haircut and jordan pool looks really young i'm gonna, I'm gonna why why is oh that, I'm was, glad that was ugly Wiggs. oh yeah hey yeah. he hits it okay ready guys ready yeah oh hey oh sorry damn i because i gotta move to my right i was like how long we smile <laughs> okay Ready and hold on, hold on. One, two, three. <laughs> I don't know if it works. You got something. All right. Hey, he's more scored. He's more scored. I cannot believe on our Instagram, people were posting on my, my Baysmore post. Like, oh, we got to trade him. He's dumb. Call him dumb. They said dumb? Dumb. He makes it up. He makes our one not well thought out decision every game, but he's yeah. not dumb. That's exactly. that's yeah, no social media 2021 for See, you. that's yeah. the kind of rebound we need to see Ooh, Wiseman yeah. do more. He I just was like, That's right. mine. Gotta keep a tab. I take what's yours. Look at that. Gets the switch onto Barnes, yeah. takes it we right in the, the corner. Up. We took the lead, timeout. Ugh. Nice, good. This is good. Uh, we get a box score up here. What? Oh, all right. Either my guys, my nice start. Or there it is. We'll take it. <sighs> Harrison Barnes. Ooh, I remember Harrison Barnes days. <laughs> there were good ones and not. There, but yeah. I was, yeah, for real. I I just remember that. That was. I, I one like a little over nostalgic guy on our discord bless his heart because uh you know 99 out of 100 posts of his i agree with but he was thinking he would have been cool with Ubre for hb i was like not at 22 million a year 22 then 20 then 18 which is what barnes is making it's like uh, i mean barnes is a cool guy but uh, i'd rather not spend that <laughs> on a guy like that i mean for a number fast. seven pick he never became what he could have been you know what happened is the nba changed on him remember um against the spurs he was so great against the spurs in the six game loss in the in the playoffs in 2013 and the reason why it was good was because they decided to put tony parker on him he went down in the post and just posted that guy up all day well, we don't, that's we don't do post ups. We don't do post ups anymore. You have to run and fly, yeah. and and you're just and have a seven foot wingspan if you were three, and he just doesn't. And you know he's got those thick legs. That's like a post up guy, 
and that's just he's a dinosaur now just like that yeah. so too bad i mean it happens yeah, I mean, it is too bad because i liked what he did for us and then after that i was just like what's happening i like i thought i expected so much more to come from this <laughs> Uh, never just never really hit it Um, no it can be hard to see but I mean he has some mellow-esque kind of like mellow is a better pure score but like if you think about like that kind of old school game that's more what it like makes me think of and mellow still somehow makes it work Somehow, <laughs> but, I, he played well against my Heat tonight. Unfortunately, so look at him. Hey, yeah. Jeffrey's here. Blue wrench, blue wrench, Jeffrey. All right, we're back. We're back. You know, we're back. I, you know another guy I love, Luke Walton, and I just like, I just hope the best for him because, like. I feel like he's on the chopping block every day. Goodness gracious. <laughs> more. Oh, what, what a steal, babe. Nico. Nice. Quick little Nico oh. legs got there. Yeah. <laughs> Dash. <laughs> Dash of the Incredibles. <laughs> I love that. That's great. Oh. With the orange hair, even. Oh, okay, the people, one of the things that had me the most angry today when it came to trade deadline, someone under the tweet that um, oh, God. someone made. Don't get me started, yeah. Was it, was it in our Discord or was it? Nico nice. said that we should have traded Looney instead of Marquise. What? Doesn't make I didn't know sense. that. Oh wow, was that Hyle Burton with the three? Yeah, yeah, dude, that ball, that guy can play. That's oh. why he's probably, unless you know, um, <laughs> what unless Ant Man and um, oh, rookie of the year. I don't know about that. Yeah. One, uh, one, two points down low, assist Kavon. Um, so we're playing well up by six. Um, but no, uh, Halliburton was the first draft rumor for the Warriors, and you can see why. Anyways, okay. Justin James, Mr. No Name, hits a three. <laughs> oh, and they did their own little head tap thing. I don't know what the hell that was. <laughs> Who did their own head tap? Trey Guy. Oh, come on. Who did Solid what? rotation. Oh. Bays in the corner. No, ah. but I like the passing now, here a lot, though. Now Loon just That'll pushes leave enough good not to get the call. Oh, like, don't leave that guy. Jeez. Yeah, that's leave, the one guy you don't open. leave right now. Come on. He's hot. Go get him. Ah. 14. 14 points. That's it. The... What, Halliburton? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. I was like, right, oh, you're Loon, dog. <laughs> loon dog, loon dog. You know, um, I, I really like Tyrese Halliburton, but um, simple as saying, you know, rookie of the year, but uh, you also have to win. <gasps> nice. Okay. Win. We'll go to the line. Come on. Good lead pass by Bays. He's playing well. Bays, you know, right off. Yeah. No, no silly foul yet. One thing I think will be interesting to see is how Ubre's play, if it's at all affected by, and even some of these other guys by the trade rumors. Because Mm -hmm. I know at least for the Heat players, our young guys, you could tell they were a little bit off. Because then tonight, they all seem to finally get their shot back a little bit. And we're finally hitting threes. Tyler Hero was finally back hitting threes. So was Duncan. And it's like, when you're that young, it gets to your head. Um, There was... um, Uh, Maybe, I guess. I mean, you're not supposed to. um, Maybe deep down in the brain, they they actually feel that way. But like when you're playing in a game, I just feel that all goes away. But 
I guess I could I mean, be wrong. Uh, Kyle, subconsciously, I, I have to get messages with somebody, some people. What's that? Oh, I was yeah, just saying, I, yeah. subconsciously, even subconsciously. in the game, I, I would think that that, that affects somebody. Nobody wants to keep getting traded. <laughs> Jeez, man. They just fast break, just like that. Did we call time out with 19 seconds? Or I thought it... someone did, but I was like, what happened? Oh, no. I oh. thought someone did. Kyle Guy has the most it's terrible just... hair I've ever seen. The way. Freaking bowl cut. <laughs> what? What happened? Kyle Guy's hair. Oh. Oh, right. Kyle Guy. That's his name. He, he killed us. <laughs> he killed us in preseason. Preseason. Hmm. Nico, runner, no oh, good. Loon. Oh, oh. misses. And we end the quarter yeah, with a two-point lead. I'll take five. it. Two-point lead. Oh. Goodness gracious. Um, no, but um, well, I was saying um, Ramona Shelburne, uh, one of the reporters, actually said that Duncan Robinson texted her today, like, I don't know if I should take my pregame nap. Because it would have been like right over the trade deadline, and poor yeah, guy doesn't know that. what to do. That was a funny tweet or funny whatever he said. Yeah. It's a, it's yeah, a business, it's a, but yeah. it can be hard to learn that when you're um, a new guy in the league. Yep. Could be. With all Could. this good play, there's only two highlights. Oh, there's only two highlights. Yeah, kind of glad because I'm doing the um, Instagram (laughs) right now. Got to remember not to. um... Oh, Warriors Instagram has a close up of the windmill. Just popped up. I don't know if you have that. The picture, right? No, it's a video, but it's a square video. But you know, I want to see. You need it? I can go. Send it to you through Instagram. Go copy the uh, Instagram real quick. And it might pop up. Who knows? Well, if it doesn't, I'll just just credit Warriors IG. Or you can just well, no, because the one I posted already has a slow has a close up of it. Oh, good. At the end. Cool. Uh, story. You know what I hate about Instagram? Like from from your timeline, you got the plus and you can add a post. Oh, but that's only for posts. That's not stories. So then you got to hit on your own icon to go to your homepage, then hit the same exact plus button to do the story. (laughs) So stupid. After the update, right? (laughs) Oh my God. I don't even want to. Uh, well, the picture isn't the best in terms of the. I got a picture of uh, Jordan Poole, tiny, tiny, tiny little Jordan Poole. Okay, we're back. Right, we're back. Someone, uh, we're back. someone watching play by play. What did you say, Rich? Someone watch and do play by play while I do this Instagram. Oh, okay. Um, cat, guy with a wraparound pass. Uh, see, so is that Giles? No, who the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> this is like the third I know. time. What, one of she's Mizzy Mitu. Death Freeze. Oh my God. She's Mizzy Mitu. I don't know who that is. And then there's Jeffries. I don't know who Jeffries is. Jared Jeffries? I think it's just De- no Daquan. Oh God, I, I don't know that guy. Honestly, don't. neither do I. Oh, I haven't watched that. Well, the thing is, oh, can we not make those turnovers? Ugh, man. That's what Steve Kerr is saying. <laughs> Free possessions. Yeah, that was not a good one. Like that's an AAU turnover. Oh, no. HB with the rip through uh, under rip through. Thank you. Rip through. 
which is exciting. Yeah. Right? Come on, boys. I mean, that's a foul, Damien. I don't know. What, what is he complaining about? It's a good play. Let's just hope he doesn't do that five times in a row. <laughs> oh, stay on him. Jeez. Oh. Ooh. That haircut is making him aerodynamic. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Eight or three assists. Is it just me or like? Yeah. Is it, your it, is your um box score that you're looking at on ESPN? Oh, I haven't been looking. Oh. I I use NBA.com. I don't know why. I just do. Okay. Because I don't know why my my box score is not loading. Wait a minute. Wiggins has 15 points? Holy he was fire. He yeah. drew a bunch of fouls. Guess hit so. two threes. Halliburton 14, which, uh, you know, Tiffany already said. Yeah. Like, oh. yeah. It, it, to me, it was still a, kind of a quiet 15. It oh. was. 15, 4, and 3. Wow. Extrapolate that out. Four and three. Oh wow. He's on pace for 60, 16, and 12. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yeah, two of three from three. Solid. So we are um somewhat usual uh starting the second quarter rotation. Of uh, Nico, uh, JP, Ubre, Looney, and D Lee. Did we turn Ooh. it over again? I just I saw no. It, it was a missed shot by Nico. Okay. It was a good looking shot. It just didn't get it there. And foul Fox again. That guy's so downhill. I was like, yeah, we, we can't be doing that. I think what is that? Two or three fouls already this quarter. We're averaging a foul a minute at this rate. Please don't foul <laughs> me. Please don't foul Kai, Kai, uh, Kyle Guy. Oh. <sighs> oh, made that's it look too a, easy. That's what Harrison Barnes wow. should do like every single time against these uh, skinnier guys. Mm. Of, of the he NBA. really should. He's it's a skinnier a Ooh, oh, nice. All right. Connect. There goes Fox again. Man. Is is Nico just getting burned every time or what's going on here? Is it Nico guarding him or JP? Yeah, I don't know. I haven't been paying attention to that. Oh, check out that shooting shirt, Wiggins, the Bay. First time I've seen that. Nice. People didn't like Nico's shot. I like Nico's shot. I think it looks good. What? Who didn't like it? I remember people were at the beginning were doubting his ability to shoot, oh. not he can only be a passer. They just they don't watch the game. They don't watch. Like how how would you know? You have to like watch games or it's like watch. I mean I'll admit I don't more know who half too. these Kings players are because I don't watch King games. I haven't watched the Kings this entire season. I was like, I have no idea who half of these people are. <laughs> it's it's not their main guys. It's their probably they probably with the amount of people they have out have a lot of um, two way players playing tonight. Probably at least both of their G uh, their two way players will play tonight. Um. Because they're they're without at least uh, a good five guys. Oh really? Well, oh, cause, five. Well, because two they traded today. Oh shit! Right. Um, they're without Whiteside. They're without Marvin Bagley, and they're without one other guy. Um, that's. Oh, where's Bagley at? Injured. Okay a lot of injuries right now for a lot of people yep. a lot of teams <sighs> wait who else are they out with 
Without? Without, um, let me pull up the, uh, let's see. Oh. Oh, it should say on the box score. I can check that. Um, tonight they're without uh, White Side. Right. White Side, yep. White Side, Terrence Davis, who was traded to the Kings today, mm-hmm. um, is not there yet. Um, Marvin Bagley's out. Right. Uh, Jemias Ramsey is out. He's one of their other draft uh, young guys. They're rookies. Um, Mo Harkless and Chris Silva, who were traded there from the Heat today, and DeLon Wright, who was we're back uh, acquired yesterday or today. I have no idea what day today is. I think it was today. Anyways, Damian Lee, bucket. Layup, tough. D. Tough Lee. Bucket. I think I'm behind. A little behind. Where are you at? I'm at nine oh nine, eight seven. Okay. Rich, you want to pause for a quick sec? Um, let, let's wait till we score being optimistic. Yes, Nico three. Okay, let's pause. 845. Okay, I'll let you. 49, 48, 47, 46, 45. Perfect. Oh. Ox. It's going to put up 60. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, he's just gone. Nico like, tries again. Ooh, no good on that right, one. A he little could. long. He's like, I'm just going to go for it. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, no, go. Okay. Hey. Oh. Oh, great. No right. fuck. Has the switch on Looney, pulls up. He's killing us. Luckily, they're only up three. No, he's only got 15. It seems like a lot more. I know, right? It does. Ubre offhand oh. drive. Oh, can't oh. finish. It's right there. <laughs> Wiseman to the scores table. Come on, yeah. Oh, he's guarding him. He is guarding him. <laughs> That's a tough guard. That's a tough ass. Uh-huh. What is? De'Aaron, Nico for De'Aaron Fox. Oh, right. It's, yeah, it's a... Makes me miss no idea who this like Neto guy is or Meta or whatever I said. Huh? The guy I had said before, uh, Chimis Metu. Oh. <laughs> so Wiseman in with, um, Pool, Nico, Dealey, and Oob. Pool kicks it to Damian. Nico. Little oh, pick and roll. Like, oh, oh, Colin oh. Bank. Okay. Okay, young man. Oh, sh- come on. Come on. Jeez. What was that? Ooh, that was that beautiful. That was a nice spin move. Aaron that was beautiful. A, a slightly off Wiseman again. 
I want to see more. the replay of that. Jeez, that was Just amazing. Play, play, oh, play. come on, Nico. Oh. Mm. Or, or. Foul. Come on. And one. <laughs> they out there having fun. <laughs> again. Jeez, man. Look at that. Oh, look at that. That was beautiful. Wow. Right. They're going to keep showing it too. <laughs> right. They always show more of, I mean, they show a good percentage of the opposing team scoring for whatever reason. <laughs> yeah, the Heat don't do it that much. <laughs> right? I think what is wrong with people at NBC? I mean, I don't get it. Well, we're we're Fox. I guess that's the difference. Is there still only two highlights? Oh, no, I'm, no, I'm working on them. <laughs> you know what? I like the Dash nickname. It works. Dash Splash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. It does work. Man, Ubre contested oh. three. Ugh. Whatever. Down seven, guys. <laughs> Let's. Uh... Buckle down. Uh, hate offensive rebounds. <laughs> I'm sorry, was... that was the failed value. Oh yeah, my God. Pretty horrible. Glad it wasn't our team. There we go. Ooh, we good, just, but like, it looks bang, like big knees. Yeah, something happened. He's fine. Uh, timeout. He's walking the same, so no limp or anything. Little ginger. I was wondering. Plus he's smiling, <laughs> so that's good too. One windmill, in other words, a wand mill. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's one of the, it's Sacramento, man. I gotta gotta come up with stuff. <laughs> All right, uh, what do we got here? Hey, they finally have you with the blue ranch, Rebecca. I don't know why why did it not happen last time, but whatever. Cool. Oops. That's good. Oh, whoops, I'm late on this. That's pretty cool. I got a whole bunch of everybody uh, smashed that like button. That's like the cool way to say it. I I, I watch. Oh my god! I, I watch other YouTube channels, and that's what they say. It was like, oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Pretty. <weird. laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny is some of these other channels is um like the guy like talks so damn slow like he's explaining a justice league or something and he's got all these good points but dude talks so slow so i just hey i'm 1.5 <laughs> or two times on the on the speed that's that's <laughs> just such an awesome feature of, of youtube those like fast forwarding people they make them Basically. talk faster. Yeah. If, if they talk too slow. I do that when I, in high school, I literally got through like AP Lit by um, the uh, um, audio book. <laughs> and I would just put on the book, but then speed it up and get through it so fast. It was a, the yeah. best decision I ever made. Sometimes you have to. Oh. oh, that's oh, it. Aaron Dash, Gordon to the Nuggets. Dash, yeah, Dash Flash, and then that's it. We had way more than that. Just, I'm Clippers. kind of blaming NBC and the Warriors here. 
Wow. But we literally have only three highlights. Is that? I'm working on it. Oh, <laughs> so it's your fault. She says she has. No, there's not that many more. There's only two more. Oh, I got it. I got another Nico one. Cool. Oh, we're back. We're back. Down five. Five minutes. Mm -hmm. No, not Kyle Guy. Yes, slash. Jeez, man. Yep. Ugh, that hair. It is terrible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Guy, because of his hair? Golly. Look at his hair and then let me know. Maybe it's just with his forehead. I don't know what it is. Who cares? Like, it true. matters. I don't judge people like oh, that. Oh, too short. Shouldn't judge people like that. I don't usually, but that hair is atrocious. I'm sure he's a nice guy. Another. We hit another one. <sighs> we're down 11. We're, we're, I mean, I know we have five stars out, but Jesus. The kings suck. Eco. Splash. God, going nice. Ooh. That was wet. Down eight. We'll be back. We'll be Harrison Barnes should not score on us. Thank goodness. <clears throat> Dang. <laughs> Beat him, Nico. Bye-bye, Harry HB. Oh, oh. Come on, cut. Wiggins, is he tired? Oh, is Wiggins tired? He moved, like, it's not even a minute. Well, that thigh could be bothering him a little. Oh, then he takes a jumper. Oh, yeah. Uh, what, you mean you don't oh. love Wiggins jumpers? I don't I don't love him when he doesn't move first. But whatever. Maybe maybe he uh, did get hit in the thigh that one time. Or a foot. Please be well, now he's got Kyle Guy on him. Got doubled though. Uh, Come on, rotate. I was like, what is happening? Just got to well, shoot. I think he thought Damien was gonna cut and Whoa. Damien oh, hit that. Dude, one. Nice. Look at that little one silly. Is just, is that? I know. He is hitting. Come on, Juan. That's so I'll nice. take it. He's okay. Sign him. Hey, oh, he only has 10 points. I don't know why I thought it was a little more than that. For him, that's a mm -hmm. ton. <laughs> no, no, no. I know it is. I just, for some reason, I thought it was maybe closer to 15. Yeah. Who? One. One. No call for Landry. Dang it. I thought, I thought he'd get a call, you know. Next contract call. Uh oh! Oh, somebody grab that. Oh, they move the fast. One too. to get back, but um, get over there, James. Like, get I was your like, body four over of us, there. All we're all in the pain. Y'all let him score. Come oh. on. Too many of us in there. I am so frustrated yeah, with James, he, he, but. It's his second game back. I, I really can't, you know, hate him. But it's frustrating how how slow he is to react. But I think by the end of the season, he'll he'll be there. And I can't wait until that game where his timing is finally there because he's going to look fantastic. James Wiseman, mark my words. He just needs to get there. It's just I like, agree. He's had to play like three preseasons, you know, like the real preseason, then like the one after he got hurt, and then the one after COVID, which yeah. is the one that we're on. Not not COVID, the protocols. He didn't have COVID. It was just a false positive or whatever the hell that was. Uh, maybe it was a contact tracing as well. They, they didn't, never said, but um, it's just, it, it's like you... You go and then you're forced to stop, and then you go again. You're forced to stop. Now you're going again, and he's just—he's slow right now. Slow. He is slow. I—I I, I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing what he's going to do, though. I really am. Oh well, yeah, I still think he's a generational talent. 
he just needs his time. I mean, literally, this is his uh, 20-something game played this season. Is it even that? No, no, no. Yeah, maybe. And it's like the guy played two games in college. Yeah, I think it was three games, actually. Big difference. I know, but it's like you count them on one hand, which is crazy. Um, What did they call? Bad screen? Wiseman? As we're traveling. Oh, traveling. Oh, no, wait. No, that's coming up. Um. Oh, Anyways, the box score down seven, two minutes. Jeez, Ooh. what is that? This guy is torching us. Someone take some pride. 23 points in the first half, 18 this quarter, nine for 12 from the field. This has got to be one of his best ever, right? You're, you're not nine for 12 a lot. Travel lifted his pivot foot. Otherwise, it looked like Wiseman was finally going to do a beastly move. It's just that he traveled. Man, wow. this is like it's turning into a development game if we're, if we're just going to keep being down by nine or seven. There we go. Fast break. Oh, God. Go. You better make that. Oh, oh we got fouled. Oh, oh. oh come on. Heck? He's like, Clearly, oh, that's the call. Come on, you know what? I mean, that's what you get for stepping back on a, on a clear fast break. I don't know. Like, you're not Splash Brother level yet. You know, I'm kind of like. There's Halliburton three again. Oh my oh, god! He looked at his hand. Oh my god! Have some pride. Like Draymond would not stand for that. Of course, all That's these guys. Like the defense right now is just nice. not where it should be. Uh, nice, um, but it is nice move by Wiggs. Spin foul. Oh, you know what? That was hand on hand. I think that's clean. Oh, it's all hand? Oh, I, I want to say it. good defense by Buddy Healed. I don't know how the ref saw that, but there you go. Beast it. Oh, man, he just lost it. Wiseman. Nice save. Oh, yeah. oh thank God, Wiggs. No. Woo! Thank God. Nine-point lead. We got the fifth single digits now. Whew. Control yourself, buddy. That's how COVID <laughs> spreads. <laughs> don't touch the ball after he does that's not a bad screen there he goes I don't know. oh my gosh you know, you know. to get around that screen got got checked i don't know i'm just looking at the reaction ubre's arguing i'm just looking at the reaction of ubre that his body i mean that didn't look legal Oh. Why are we showing Darren Fox highlights? Come on. We know he's torching us. Don't need to rub it in. Home right. cable company. Wow. Oh, tough shot, but he had to shoot it. Buzzer. Uh, and we're down 11. I know we're depleted. No Draymond, no stuff, but golly, man. Come on. Oh, the young kids. The baby. Denver's right. It does feel like whenever the Kings play us, they always shoot well. Who's right? They don't against anybody else. And then all of a sudden they see us and they and they do. Who said that? Uh um, Jeffrey in the comments. Right. I guess we'll do highlights. Even though there's not really a ton that are uh, high quality resolution because the Warriors just love tweeting out the 
Instagram type ones. So annoying. And those are only 720 DPI. Uh, I can't, I can't, I can't do those. They're too crappy resolution, although it's good to have on the timeline. Just for uh, reference. Okay, half time. Let me plug in my phone. Uh, do we want to talk about Ubre right now? Uh, about him not getting traded? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I know I'm happy about it. Um, um, why don't you go ahead? I'm, I'm going to just, I'm going to, I got to go uh, work on this highlights. So go ahead, but I'll be listening. All right, let me just finish this last one. Um, Tiffany, are you there? Yes, yeah, sorry, I'm plugging in my phone. Give me one second. Tell us how you feel about Ubre, just like from a, from a pure fan standpoint. Oh, you know, um, I'm actually happy that he's not traded. I think that, you know, going into this season, for me, not having Clay, um, I was devastated. And not saying he's replaced Clay, they're not the same player, but I do feel like he's come through in a lot of times when we needed him. And I feel the longer he's been with us, the better he's, he's, he's getting with us. So, I mean, I'm happy to keep him around at least for a little while longer to see where this is going to go. Yeah. I mean, what people kind of forget when it comes to Ubre and even Wiggins and a lot of these guys is we didn't have a full training camp. Right. Like we usually do. So it took, time in the beginning for him to adjust to playing with a completely different team um exactly. especially because he was like the Warriors he his Phoenix went to the bubble but he didn't go to the bubble um so it was like it takes time kind of for that to build and there's so many times like I can you know, notice those changes and where he's grown when I see him. You know, we saw in the first few games he would be in the wrong place when Steph would be trying to get to a spot. You'd yep. see he would shoot it when he had another guy open. He's gotten much better at sharing the ball, taking better shots. Now, when he is in the second offense, he does kind of go for a shot more. But I'm okay with that when he's with the second team offense. But it's when he's on the floor with Steph that he's slowly kind of realizing, hey, I don't have to go and force this ball. I have like the absolute best shooter to ever walk the planet on my team. Exactly. Um That's, so I just I, agree. I think as there's a lot going. of growth, and I think that can only continue as time goes by. And I'm just, I'm glad we didn't um, jump ship on it. Um, I don't really see there have being a great return that we would have gotten that would have been worth it. For him, I'm, yeah. That's, oh. Like, I, I'm not sure what, who, what's, I mean, the, what, people would have gotten in return because I mean the other trades teams shipped out a lot on these other trades and it's like teams like you know other contenders that would want him you know like the the Lakers the Lakers don't have anything to give nothing they would like want. just to name a team um they don't even really have picks and it's like do we even really want picks at this point anyway if our goal in the next year is to continue to develop this team so that when we get clay back we can go on a serious run because i, I mean, the the honest truth is until clay is back on the court we are not winning a championship facts it sucks but that's the truth so whatever yeah. we do this year is us building this team, getting better, 
and continuing to grow so that next year when he is back, we can go on a real run. Yeah. Because unfortunately yeah, that, with them learning teams, to play together and, and getting comfortable is really where it's at right now. This is this is and you know, the growth of wise men is really important. Um, you know, kind of being seeing that. And I mean it, it, it's it's hard. Um and you know, simple bubble. I mean, I do know what you're saying that you know getting to the playoffs looks hard and it does look hard. I also think the play the Warriors will be one of the benefits, I think, of the um, play-in at this point is what it's looking like to me is we will be in that. I don't necessarily think we can get up to above six. I think there are a lot of really good teams in the West um, because, I mean, ultimately there are six solid teams ahead of us. At least, I mean, you've pretty much got for certain the Clippers, the Lakers, the Nuggets, the Jazz, the Suns, and the Mavs all ahead of us. And like that's just pretty much a known at this point. Um, so, and there will be other teams. Um, also going on runs. I do think um, once Steph gets back and gets healthy, it will be huge. Um, I think, you know, the fact that, you know, at least some of our guys managed to get the vaccine, that is also big time um, because I think the more consistency we can have with one roster, the better it will be. And, um, Voting having and, and then I think we are also fortunate in the uh, schedule we have to end the year. We don't have the toughest schedule, um, and I think that once we are healthy, we can go on a run to end things out. Um, because yeah, yeah, the Spurs, um, yeah, they are rebuilding and everything. And the thing with the Spurs is are they going to necessarily keep this, the play they've had all season long going? Like, I don't consider them a team that is better than us. Uh, LaMarcus Aldridge is leaving, uh, got bought out today. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, really the teams I named, those are the teams I think that are better than us. And unfortunately, I don't think we can get higher than any of those teams. That is the problem. Is those are six extremely high quality teams um, that even the few that you could say maybe we had a shot against made moves today and got even better, uh, particularly meaning uh, Denver got a lot better today in trading and getting Aaron Gordon. So I I think that's it's tough. Um, the best I mean, to be I expect, um, as to be that high, like you said, at all. So why would we go spend all that money or try to do? You know, I just think the point was about this. I'm happy we didn't trade him. He's settling nicely. And then he's if what we traded him, right you know, that that leaves any possibility of us keeping him in the summer. I mean, guys are not going to want to be traded and leave. Marquise Chris is different right. in the sense he played for us for a year. He's not going to have a ton of other offers coming at him for a bunch of money. Uh, he was injured. It wasn't like we traded him and he was playing actively. It was different. I See, I agree. I think seventh or eighth seed. And the good thing is if you get the seventh or eighth seed, you don't you need probably two really good games to get you to the playoffs and out of the play in. And when we have a guy like Steph on our team, I think we can get one or two games like that to get us there. Um, and I do think, you know, Steph will come back. He will as always. And I think, um remind everybody while he was gone um like I mean it feels like he's missed more time 
than he has, to be honest. It feels like he's been out forever. It feels like, a, I feel like it's been a lifetime since I've seen him. <laughs> and it hasn't been that long. <laughs> um, Sorry, but we're just missing him. So I wonder if he's going to be back by the time they play Miami. So I was thinking about grabbing a ticket and going, but I'm so in between because the stress that the game that they had earlier in the season gave me the two teams playing yeah already was ridiculous that i don't know if i could do it in person i've been wanting to buy a ticket to go somewhere to watch the game because i'm like I, they said april 1st there's gonna be i think i don't know if it was the a's or someone was gonna start having in a ten, in, in person games and i'm like okay so what about chase center like do i have to buy a flight to go somewhere else to watch a, a freaking game <laughs> Sometimes it's better. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. I just, but it's, it'll be nice to just at least have, you know. Yeah. Low capacity, something uh, at Chase Center. It'll be nice. I mean, they've been having people there, but like family and friends, I guess. Well, I, I still want to do my um, Kelly Oubre diatribe, which isn't really about Kelly Oubre. But I also want to post this highlights real quick. Um, so once you guys finish up with whatever you guys got to talk about, um, give me about 15 more seconds and I'm good. Um, I mean, I kind of said what, um, my piece, okay. um, I, I, I do think we'll make the playoffs and I don't think we have any reason to tank. Um, I think anyone that says that we should is not aware of the uh, various um, kind of how our picks work right now. Um, um, So, uh, I don't know. The good thing, I guess, is that there's teams that suck as much as Minnesota, it feels like. That's the good news is for us because, you know, that's top three protected that pick. Um, but it's really looking like the Rockets are vying um, for one of those, the Pistons. Um, um, trying to think who else are the big kind of guys going for that number one spot. It's really the Rockets right now. They're looking rough. Uh, I got um, a commercial break. Huh. Hurry up, Instagram. <laughs> Good Lord. Dun, 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 dun. Just waiting for you to load. Okay. Put, uh... Well, someone said, I, I hear Wiggins and Ubre can't both play well at the same time. It's always one or the other. It can seem like that's happening, and some of that is just they haven't learned completely how to play well together, because it's together. like when one no, of them right? is like it's hard enough to not... learn how to play with with uh, Steph. I'm looking at Juan here, right? And then now you know, step one, play with Steph. Step two, play with everybody else, right? That's just, I mean, and it's like neither of them are spot up shooters quite. They're both guys that when they get going, it involves the ball being in their hands. I mean, yeah. the thing that was different was Steph, Clay, and KD, and them going was Clay, the ball didn't need to be in his hands. Clay literally, I mean, we've seen it when he put, had like, what, 11 dribbles for 60 points? I mean, like, we, we, we know that Clay does not need the ball in his hand. KD and Steph, it was because they typically played at different times oh, from back. one another. I'll wait till the next time out. Yeah. Uh, we're back, 11.50. Um, oh, we'll get, we'll get better. Ah, they scored again. Jeez. Oh, they score on, they make a run. I'm at the same. Yeah, Rich, you got a few seconds on me too. All I'm right. at 11:40, 39. 
Well, there's a foul at 11.35, so I'm going to pause once they once they inbound plus two or three seconds so it doesn't jump on you. Um, okay, cool. Boys, let's go. 11.26. Go ahead with the play-by-play. -play. Well, let me know about 11.26. Sorry, my... We're 11.26. Um, do a play-by-play. 11.26. Do a play-by-play. -play. Rebecca, do a play-by-play. -play. Sorry. Uh, I'm, no, I mean, I've reached there. Uber oh, scared. I'm at, I'm at 11.03. Oh, my God. Let's go. 11.20. You can forward, right? Just forward. I'm going to go. You're at where, Tiffany? I'm at, uh, it's 10.50. Boom, boom. What happened? Somebody scored, right? Anyways, man, For we're pulling this up. We got to help out our audience. 10.34. 37. 34. 33. I'm at 10.14. Let me know. Okay. Oh, how'd you get so high? Don't worry All about it. All right, I'm at 10.31 and it's a foul. Yeah, same here. Okay. So we're good. So let me know when you get to 10 14. Fox and pool. Uh, when I'm at 10 16. <laughs> a little bit. 10 28. 24. 23. Okay. It's good. 20. Ah, uh, Ubre got thwarted at the rim, then fouled. 10 19, dead ball. Down 12. All right, he's coming out. 10, 18, All right. 17, 16, 16. 14. 14. All right. All right, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Stay on them. No problem. Oh, oh. Oh. How, did, how did they, did, did HB make a pass or did, was that? Yeah, I'm out. Was home scored because Wiseman doubled Harrison. You know what also sucks is we don't have Draymond on the bench to yell things at Jay. I was thinking the same thing on Down that it doesn't help because Wiseman like needs like a guy like that. And the only one I feel like that can hit that same way is Draymond. Yeah, there's nobody else on the team other than Ubre, but Ubre is more of a you know guard forward type guy he's not gonna yell stuff at James not like Draymond is Steph even there his presence is, is needed I, I don't see I Steph see there I haven't seen him there but I don't know why you would want Steph to drive up to Sacramento for this yeah because it's a drive oh it's yeah especially with his tailbone flight um but let, let me get my two cents off for uh Ubre is what everybody is forgetting is that um, and this goes into the construction of the roster. Let's just go way back real quick. I hate to do this, but Steph, the reason why we can pay Steph so much money right now, and actually we should go back to 2016. The reason why we were able to bring on KD was because Steph was only making 12 million a year at the time. Plus there was a cap spike. So then you add another superstar. Now you have four slots. Iguodá is the fifth slot. You want to keep these slots so that we can pay more to, to the stars um, when other teams can't pay more. It's like when I used to play rec league, I used to form um, teams to go play in tournaments. And it's like, yo, can you play for us? Can you play for us? And the dude's like, oh, but so-and-so already asked me to play. So that was always about, can you call this guy who plays well in your league before somebody else calls? And now this, what Lakeup has with light years is that he can pay guys more then other teams can pay them. We can pay Ubre more. We can go over the tax to pay him, not to mention we have his bird rights. So the chance of Ubre staying with us is greater than the chance of Ubre staying with any other team unless we had traded his bird rights away if we had done that, which is also, I hate to digress, but it didn't make sense to me when they said Danny Green might be a destination. So like, wait a minute, Danny Green is coming here so we can save money? The whole point of the Ubre slot, which was actually the Iguodala slot, 
which by the way, we worked our asses for, remember when we got Iguodala, what Bob Myers had to do to get to that. So we have the ability to pay extra for this Iguodala slot. We're doing that with Ubre. Why would we go and get Danny Green to save money when the whole point is to have the slot that we can pay with that we can overpay a guy for. And the reason why we overpay is we have a golden goose. The golden goose is chase center. End of story, non-pandemic. So all of those deals for Ubre never made sense to me. And that's why. Jordan Poole misses a runner. Damn, he's clapping at himself like he should have made that. Mm -hmm. But anyways, guys got to keep in mind the transactional nature. And really, I learned all this not only just by, um, there's a foul right here, so no, no big loss here, play by play. But I learned this by looking at salary caps, like all 30 of them. You know, just during the off season, just learning trades, uh, salary cap tables, who's making what, how the Warriors are able to pay so much money to have Draymond, Clay, and Steph tons of money. How can we get away with that? And so you learn, and they get an and one against James. But anyways, that's that's the part. That's the part that a lot of casual fans and not not to say that if you don't know salary caps you're a casual fan i just i just don't like it when uh fans just automatically well, criticize the team and they don't like, know <laughs> oh we should, no trade Ubre because i don't like him no that's not no why would you give up that salary slot it's you because don't. people think it's as easy as the playing a video game exactly yeah the video game analogy is perfect fantasy sports like these guys are human beings and there's a collective bargaining agreement. So anyway. read the CBA. Mic. Now that is an interesting read. Oh God. If you want to like, Ooh, get lost. Nice. Oh, thank God. Let's get it. Is that, who is that? Juan. Juan. Was oh Juan? yeah. Yeah. Cause the release was like, wait a minute. Is that Mulder? Um, which is a compliment to Juan. Like his release now is like, looks like Mulder. so much better. So much mm. better. Wiseman, come on, dude. You're making Rashad Holmes let you look like like everybody's an all-star against making him look like him. Shaq. I know. The guy on the Sixers, Bradley. Like I'd never heard of him. This um JP. That see, that's such a good play. When a guy like JP cuts to the basket. Ubre cutting at the same time and almost meeting him there. Yeah. Oh, stay on him. Stay on him. No foul. Still down 14. Jeez. I just, God. Every time I look okay. up. Okay. That yeah. miss you forced. Better. Better. Hey, better. Why is it? Step hey. out. Ooh. Ooh. That's a, that's Ooh, a nice. That foot almost went over that line. Oh, no, oh. that's off one. That's off one. Oh. He got him. You know what? De'Aaron Fox is kicking ass tonight. He is. Offense and defense. I feel like the the haircut makes it, less, makes it look like he's less of a threat. I hate to do that, right? Well, he, he looks what? like a Maybe baby. Maybe same thing with Kyle Guy, right? Makes him look... No, nah, that guy can't score. Oh. He kills us. Kyle Guy is it, something <laughs> else. It's his scrawniness. We're constantly down 14 to these guys, and it makes me mad. Like, they're, I know our guys are young, but come on. This is the damn Kings. We own them. Wiggs pushes oh, and he gets a little push. Take over. Take over, bro. Yeah. Because, um, No, no, no foul. I'm leaving him open. Oh. Well, you missed it, so that's okay. Ubre. Ooh, nice. nice. Come on. He was good. He was working towards that. <laughs> there you go, guys. Over there, sweating. He was like, veteran player something, player. Was going, something was going, something was going, something was going to fall. Is Smiley still on the team? Smiley is still on the team, yes. 
It's not for long. Just don't Ew. see this picking up the team option. We created two uh, roster slots today by uh, selling off uh, Wanamaker and Chris Marquise Chris for peanuts and also saved 11 million in luxury tax, which is amazing, right? Like all these taxes, cause we're so over the tax. You get taxed more because you're over the tax. It's crazy. And it'll even be worse next year as a repeater. But um, Chris was making 1.8 million, Wanamaker 2.25 million. That's under 4 million. Uh, wait, that's two, yeah, under 5 million. If you add that up, right? 1.8, 2.2. A little over four million, and it results in eleven million in taxes. It's like we don't need to pay eleven million for like Wanamaker and Chris aren't gonna change our one win loss standing. So bye bye there. But that also means there's two more roster slots, and now we can sign Juan and Nico to regular NBA contracts with team options and really low salary because because they're you know we're converting them from a two way. So we can, we have that right. If we don't do that, then at the end of the playoffs, they become free agents. So we needed to do that to create space for those two guys. And I really think it is just for those two guys. That's my opinion on that. Uh, Warrior buyout? I don't think so. Who are you going to get in buyout? Let's say the best case scenario is LaMarcus Aldridge. Let's pretend there's no salary cap. Yeah, man, LaMarcus joining our team, that would that would make sense. We need some help down there. But, yo, there's taxes, salary cap, wins and losses. He doesn't move the needle enough. Like, is he going to make there's a that and then 10 the... win streak? I don't think so. Like, And then the fact that, costly. you know, most of the time, the buyout market is players going to a team that's contending. Yeah, why would he want to come to our team? Like, yo, you guys are. I mean, it's twenty-two. You might get knocked his out. His top of one game. Um, destination right now is currently the Heat, and he's still yeah. talking to others. Um, yeah. before so we're not going to get a guy of his caliber, so we're going to get a guy way lower. And why? Why would you pay another eleven million in taxes for that? That makes no sense not going to change our problems you know we're going to have the same problems winning and losing down 11 oh yeah he's mad that's too easy did you get hit oh check out wiseman what happened yeah that's why i was like oh i think he got hit in the nose or something what and what oh he got a okay wiseman fouled just got to keep playing. Just play. It's all good. I'm going to whine. Because oh, we expect so much more from Wiseman because, you know, we saw what he could do first three games of the season, I guess. Oh, I just froze. Come on. Okay. So Wiggins misses a three. Down 11 still. Rashawn Holmes popped Ubre on the screen, no call. Luckily, HB missed. Mm -hmm. We're not getting any bad screen calls tonight. I guess they're letting that go. I have to go. Way to go, Wise. Oh, oh we missed it. Dang. Oh. Worked so hard. Oh, for no. The Get up, he's kid. He's struggling. Get up, kid. Okay, he's back. It's good cardio right there for him to get on the floor, run all the way back to contest the three that they missed. Hey. I think there's nobody else was over there. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, nice. Okay. Keep running. Conditioning. Oh, no. He got hit in the. What? <laughs> Can't feel sorry for Rashawn Holt. <laughs> And he's walking around. Why are men so weak when it comes to that? I'm sorry. What? Dude, you have no idea the pain. <laughs> and Stop I it. could tell you the same about a lot of different things that females oh, yeah. have to go <laughs> through. I know, but <laughs> it's just for us, we equate that with the worst possible pain. It's just, 
you know. I, I understand. Oh, come that on, wise men. Idiot. Come on, no turnover is not right now. You gotta hold on to the ball. Basic entry pass, just. And he's gonna get his fourth foul right here, right? Jeez, man. Rough night. Rough night. Rough night. Have him sit down for a second. He's about to get taken out. We also haven't seen any EP. That's how that's what I was wondering. I was like, what happened with him? Because uh, it's just in, down in the rotation. You, you can't play more than nine, ten guys. And, um, you know. I knew. I was like, it's time for him to come out. I knew it. Yeah, sit down for just a little, a little bit. <laughs> you not happy? That's all right. All right. We're down 10. Oh, nice finish. Just keeping us in the game. Oh. You know what we need is we need a JP to, to break out. But obviously, opposing 24. teams have been scouting them. So. This has been a good game for him. Uh, him. De'Aaron Fox can... Pretty much go by anybody not named Uber. He's been going by everybody on our squad. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, I, I'd like, uh, to see, I'd like to see Baysmore in there. Much. Guard him or something, you know. Yikes. That's trying to be too, trying to be too fast. I Come saw on. JP the whole time on that one. And that, dude, that was varsity against junior varsity, De'Aaron Fox on that. He's killing us. This is like, uh, I, I think Steve needs to bring in a Baysmore at this point or something. Let's just stop this guy. You know, it's like. And Nico's coming in. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's yeah. like, okay, no Steph, no Draymond. Let's just make this a development game. It's That's probably exactly what it is. Our core is not even playing. <laughs> because Looney hasn't been playing. Uh, Baysmore isn't in there to stop De'Aaron. You know, if you really wanted to win this game, that's what you would do. I mean, Looney's in now because of four fouls, but we wouldn't have let Wiseman get to four fouls, right? That's another, right, right. That's another hint of this being a development game. Well, woohoo! And a guy well, like Wiseman, you know, it's like one thing if he's like huge right now for us, but you know, three for Buddy, freaking Buddy, that's a nice shot. Yeah, I'm I'm convinced this is uh, this is a development game, but it's all it's all good. I mean, because I, I really want Wiseman to do well. Feels like a development game. season. That's what this is. <laughs> oh, for sure. There's a whole lot of chemistry in that part and saying that too, but Wiseman just needs to play ball games. That's it. Like, let me go look at his BK ref. How many games played? It's probably not that much. Thirty games played, eighteen games started. I mean, we, we can't even we can't even count the the games that came off the bench, right? Because we were trying to win those games with Looney starting. So, eighteen games played, <laughs> eighteen real games played. Not a lot for what Wiseman. Thirty thirty games played, but eighteen games started. Oh, I see. Okay. 18, 18 games with meaningful minutes. Mm -hmm. The rest of them was more backing up Looney, and you don't really develop when you're doing that. Mm -hmm. 
We're back. There we are. Nito. Splash. Oh. Career high. Come on, Nico. Five of six from threes. 14 minutes, 15 points. Okay. Yep. Like grab the bomb. Nico, a little far that time. But I mm. like it. Stay aggressive. Keep shooting. He's taking what he can get, too. <laughs> he has not hesitated. Y'all gonna have to protect her. Come on. I love Wigan zero. <sighs> Couldn't finish, but still. There's freaking bull cut. Oh, he finagled a foul. Ugh. Guy gets more calls than Steph. Steph needs to change his haircut. That must be it. Uh-uh. <laughs> Steph better not touch that hair. That hair is perfect right now. As long as he doesn't go back to the awful braids. So many people hated those braids. Yes, come on, miss another free throw. Come on. Why not? And I don't understand that. Aisha, why do you let the braids happen? Like, that's your job, <laughs> wife. I don't get it. Yeah, happy wife, happy life. <laughs> Guess so. We have five free throws? Jesus. I thought it was happy fans, happy life. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> good. Come on. Bowl with the rebound. Hey, now you got me saying that. Oh, and there's oh my God. He made a good <clears throat> pass, actually. Oh, boy. Who knows what's going down on Warriors Twitter right now, but they're laying, I'm not there. laying into Steve, laying into well, James. Well, Bleacher Report added that new community feature, which is basically just a okay. way for people to turn it into Twitter. Really? No. For what? That was clean. Buddy swatted. It's like a community feature on like, like Bleacher Wednesday. Report where you like can like post and like Oh, wow. Uh, discussions, okay. and it's like, all it is is people complaining. Wow. I know, right? It's like, that's why I thank you to the 36 of you watching is uh, we try and keep it half glass, uh, glass mm -hmm. half full here. <laughs> half a 84 to 102 already oh, in the Ooh, third quarter. Tough shots. Mm. <sighs> um, shot clock was winding down. Yeah. Hey, Bays caused the turnover. Yeah. Nice. Hey, who the is that guy? Down 18. Two. Cut it down to 10. The Kings will be uh, deer in the headlights, I guarantee you. So just, just cut it down to 10. Watch him be deer in the headlights and we'll, we can make a run. You know what Kyle guy reminds me of? Like one of the guys so. from like Ed, Ed, and Eddie. I thought you were going to say that or family guy. I was waiting to see what you're about to say. <laughs> Ooh, Bray. Oh, man. It's not his night. Long night. What, what's Jordan Poole? That was a two for one. He doesn't. Oh, yeah, it was. You're right. That's yes, true. Let me check Jordan Poole's stats. Oh, no. no. Oh, my God. Lee. Damien, why are you fouling him, man? Did he break? He had him stumbling too. Oh, he, oh, he made he, he made him trip. Jeez. And then he mm -hmm. fouls him, and he makes the three. Oh. Jordan Poole. Can't want to see those highlights. Six points, <laughs> two for seven. Rough night. That was about the worst way that that could My go. God, we're down 22 to the Kings. Mm -mm -mm. Yes. To the Kings. Yes. 
Oh, I guess. Uh, how's Looney look? Is he? Is he? Did he get a Charlie horse or something? <sighs> yep. Yeah. We added this. We got to just understand that. Um, Good job. F, Oop. F no Dre. Ooh. All right. Down 20. Watch him make that. Of course, NBC cuts away. Yeah, I was they gonna, did. Yeah, why would you do that? So stupid. But that's wow. We were just down. We were just down ten. How did we get to twenty so quickly? <laughs> Guys, y'all, y'all gotta calm down. Don't be like Warriors Twitter. You guys gotta look at this in an erudite manner, which is what I keep saying on Discord and stuff. Like, it's obvious when you keep Wiseman in with three fouls, gets his fourth. I mean, you're 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 not playing to win this game. You're playing to develop. Sure. Um, which they need to. De- he needs to develop. So you know, to to have De'Aaron Fox kill you and have no adjustment to that shows you that we are developing Nico. We're not going to bring in Bazemore to stop Dion. Aaron. Aaron. Right. Because why, why waste the energy for Baze? No, like Baze pretty much take the night off, you know, like it's not worth it. We don't have stuff for Dre. We don't have an emotional leader on the floor. Uh, if there was a game where you you wanted Nico and James to rack up minutes, it's tonight. Steph's not even in the building. Why make him drive up? Like our our whole you know bench emotion isn't there. Clay isn't there, right? So this was a throwaway game. Now that we're seeing it, and the fact that we. Did not adjust to De'Aaron is a big tell. James Wiseman playing so many minutes, uh, even though he was struggling and not subbing him out earlier for Looney is a big tell. Uh, you know, Jordan Poole struggling. And, you know, this, this is not a playoff game tonight, right? Jordan Poole struggling, but letting him play sure. instead of, like, bringing in a molder to see if he can make a shot, you know? So everybody just just, just take it on the chin. We're going to have games like this because we need our young guys to grow up really fast. Yeah, real um, fast. There's a brick. I, I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd take out Ubre pretty soon, too. <laughs> he just and there's Boca. He just got physical on that. And one. there's Boca. <laughs> yeah. Let's get JP in rhythm. Ah, this is a layup. Late call. At least he got it. Cool. He hasn't been playing, um, shooting a lot tonight. Not at all. Yeah, we may be 11 seed, but we don't have Steph. So aren't we supposed to be 11 seed without Steph? I mean, so I know it's yeah, not. Yeah, we were just 16. We, we, we've had him for most of the season, yeah, so we shouldn't be that far down. But, I mean, uh, let's all just, just take a big grain of salt tonight. Um, yeah, but it's, I'm just thinking what this game would have been like for me to be solo like I was a game ago. So it is good to have you two on despite the sorry about that 21 point deficit here. It's always good to to spread the the energy, whether it's high or low. Tonight, low, obviously. Oh, De'Aaron, let's check his numbers out. I think I'm behind, but 32 points. 
32? Yeah. I mean, even he's got to know. I mean, I got 32, but it, tonight it was against Nico. JP from deep. Why weren't you hey, shooting that all rhythm. game long? Get in rhythm, am JP. I, am I behind you guys? I'm at 1042. You're ahead by no, five. You're points. ahead. Oh, I'm ahead. Uh, oh. Tell us where you pause. Uh, I, oh, mine is going to be bad if I pause it. Let me try. Okay. I'm at just, keep just keep going. Okay. Yeah. Because I can oh. skip ahead. Can you, Rich? Bank oh. and one. Oh. All right. JP. Okay, you're close. JP, JP. Yeah, I mean, I can. I'm on YouTube TV, which yeah, is bull. pretty stable. YouTube TV is stable. League Pass is unstable, completely unstable. League Pass is yeah. trash. I use League Pass, but I use it on Direct TV. Oh, yeah, that's different. I think it's different. Streaming, like, it's not great. Yeah. Streaming is mm. trash. I don't get it. Like, how can you screw that up for a whole decade? I'm serious. It's been like this the whole time. You're the NBA. You're like a multi billion. The whole time player. it's been like that? Since it was invented. Wow. It's actually been good for me until this past couple of days when it got windy. Because I had YouTube. Oh, like, yeah. I didn't get the game. No matter what I use, I don't get every pass. It's just, um, and it's not just them. TNT app sucks. ESPN app sucks. Yeah. They're all screwing it up. Nice. This is the last 10 minutes of the game, but okay. Let's see. Well, what are we down here? We're we're down 14. Hey. 14. Like, oh, no. Why not? Let's do it. Because he, he got a little more a little pep in his step. Let's go. I mean, do you see what a difference it makes without Steph and Dre? Look at the bench. They're like normal. I can't blame them, right? But if Steph was there, he's so unique, has so much joy no matter what. I would love to, I'm, I'm just joking here. I don't mean to be, I would love to see Steph at a funeral. You know what I mean? Like. What? How, 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 <laughs> how would he like, I'm just saying it's just a terrible example, but like this guy is so full of joy. Like you can be down 20 and he'd still like, anyways, terrible example. <laughs> and I'm bored. I'm just I'm like, have there's nothing I can talk about right now. It's better I than mean, you I... saying smash that like button. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, smash it. Why not? What else you going to do? That. <laughs> just smash that like button. <laughs> smash it like a watermelon. <laughs> oh, no. We'd really appreciate it. <laughs> oh God. Let me get that guy out of here. In the midst of the game, the Warriors are tweeting like thank you, Marquise. Oh my gosh. Well, what else to talk about? Yeah. I mean, I guess maybe did it officially clear? Is that but I mean, come on. I'll never know what get your dough up said the first time. Cause I put him in timeout. <clears throat> Punk boy, come on my channel, talking crap. Talk crap again. Do it. I want to ban you. I, I can tell from the first comment. We had a guy two, three games ago. Hey, Rich, you're, you, you know, your glasses look like whatever. Guess what he guess what else he commented on? He commented on my 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 hat. 
And then he commented on my shirt. It's just like, there's a certain MO of guys that you already know you're going to ban. Yeah. Like, just get off of here. Go somewhere else. Exactly. Go ruin somebody else's day. Because we ain't having it here. And look who comes in the last nine minutes. Okay. Somebody needed to pray. Man, is, is simple bubble? Are, are you letting go of the rope? Come on, man. We got, we got, this is, you know, almost a summer league squad here that we're playing. Nice. Nice three. All right. We play for Uber, right? And he comes through. You can see that play develop. Like, and guess who's at the middle of that play? Looney. Perfect screen. Mm. Nice. Oh, foul. Never mind. The only Damn. thing I want from this game is for Wiseman. Mm, crappy to come back. shooter like that, put him at the line. I would love to see Wiseman come back and just have a solid last few minutes. But we can still win this somehow. <gasps> yeah, we're down 11. For sure. All right, keep the energy up, you guys. Let's go. All right. I know Nico's ready to shoot. Those <laughs> JP step back. Like oh. oh, almost had the rebound. He hit that. Ah, uh, the score. I saw that, James. That was hilarious. Actually, that he like straight up nice corrected Marquis or Walsh. Who is that? Uber. Uber. All right, let's go. We're in this. Yeah. Come on, so we can still do this though. Just don't let the bull cut score. <laughs> no. Oh, that was the ugliest shot. Of the whole it was night. the ugliest shot ever. <laughs> ugliest I was shot I've say, ever like, seen. What was that? He might as well have done like underhand. Rashawn, I just knew he was going to miss it. No, it went in. Is, Rashawn keeps scoring. What does he have? My box score. Hmm. Excuse me. Twenty. He has twenty-one. Oh God, twenty-one and eight. Eight for, 11. Eight for 11. I swear. Right now, if you start against James Wiseman, you're going to look like an all star. But he just needs time. Uh, Tony Bradley, 76ers. Never heard of him. Look like they're shooting freaking 50% from three and set 60% overall. Although, granted, we're 52% from three. The difference is at the free throw line. <sighs> okay, so Tiffany, how how much are you on social media? And do you the the point I want to drive is I I saw the shirt you're wearing, 2015 NBA Finals. I mean, social media now, Warriors wise, is so much worse than it was in 2015. But I feel like. <laughs> I feel like all the people that were around for 2013, I feel like you had to be around 2013, 14, go through the struggles to really appreciate the struggles they're going through now. Do you kind of see that on social media where all I, these guys, I don't know, like they want Katie again. Like, uh. um, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think how to answer this. You said they want Katie again. 
It's like of they course. just oh, because, we want, go and get KD. Bob Myers, you suck. It's like what you know, but these have to be people who I'm 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 wondering like, have you not been? How long have you been a Warriors fan? How long have yeah. you been following the Warriors? Because we yeah. weren't always that great. We weren't always champions. There was the we believe, and then we had the Mark Jackson phase where we started getting better, and then we got Steve Kerr, and then we won a championship. We got another ring, like so. For someone to say that, I just we you know we got a ring without KD. So I, I, you want him back? It just doesn't make sense to me. I, obviously, he's a great player, but for you to say Bob Myers and Joe Lake or whomever sucks, you don't. You're not. You haven't been watching the Warriors that long. You you probably started watching them when they when they got a, a championship. So this is going to be hard for a lot of people to watch who aren't real fans. I mean, it's obviously. We would love to be winning more, but um, hey, for for us to not have our our superstars, we're they're doing the best they they can to hold their own, and that's because of our coaches and our 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 staff and our front office, in my opinion. Yep, we're back. Still twelve, down twelve. I haven't seen anyone say they want KD back. That's crazy. Oh. Mm. Just shooting over Nico like he's not there. All right, I'm done commenting. On 15. On 15. Oh, come on. Ah, see, look, he got doubled. Nobody cut. Ah. Youngsters, film study. Oh, my God. You got to recognize when Nico's getting doubled, you cut to the hole. See, I mean, see me whining at these young guys, but. I don't hate them. I'm not saying, oh, they need to play better, you know, without the stars. I'm, I'm just expecting mistakes. Yeah, yeah, this is the most minutes that I've ever played. Yeah. 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 Wow, William tapping on YouTube with the positivity. Is this for real? We'll see. <laughs> Sometimes we get guys come on here, they post something positive and then goes negative, negative, negative. They like try to trick you or something. It's weird. Very weird psychologies out there. Yay, James Weisenbeck. <laughs> Have a good game, James. You, 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 you see me just whining all night about James, but now he comes in, I'm rooting for the guy. Deep down, I'm rooting for him. Like, I just and I mean, I think, you know, and what I think is, um, you know, you're saying that they need to learn to be consistent with or without their stars. Well, why do you think that sometimes, why do you think that during the KD Steph years, we still lost to teams like the Lakers? Back, and so they teams didn't have that their, their stars. Why do you think the 96 Bulls lost to anybody? Because it's no one is a hundred percent consistent. That's the game of basketball. It's the all, whole thing. It's a make or miss. you had to do. Me. You you said it in the comments. Look at my Miami Heat. Duh. I mean, look. Toronto we Raptors. We made the finals last year, but we're under five hundred right now yeah. because of a plethora of reasons. It, it, there is no such thing as consistent. Game in and game out. We saw that when we had 30 points. We saw that when we had three of the best players in the NBA. It just doesn't exist. I mean, two points. Down 16. I mean, a couple more stops. Uh, The deer in the headlights. See how badly the Kings need to win this, though? Like Luke Walton, like, yo, De'Aaron's playing the whole four. 
that right he has 40 he should be taken out like what the heck <laughs> well i mean it's still within striking range so but we'll we'll see we'll see how deep he goes okay wise man yeah, i like that thank goodness little jab step in the pull-up mid-range i like it Uh oh, Halliburton. God, man, that kid is good. Oh boy, it's too bad. But Luke had to bring in his closing unit because he needs these wins to save his job. Ooh, Baysmore reverse. That was pretty. If we can get it down to ten with three minutes, let's say. Officially, it's like 10 within two minutes is doable, but very, very hard. No soup for you, Rishon. Missed that ugly push shot. Yeah, feed wise. Go, go. Why are you waiting? Go at him. No fadeaway crap. Ugh. He did the fadeaway crap. Yeah, I know. Oh, Who said just 10? You got this. It's not 10. Go, Wiggs. Downhill. Oh, burn, Harrison. Okay. Beast Fox. I like that, too. Oh, that should have gone down. This Kings team has a bright future. Uh, what just happened? I missed it. Uh, just to step back. Um, oh, look, NBC is replaying it for you. I think they are actually. You know what? I'll give them an excuse because they do feed the Kings network for this one. But they do this all the time. No matter who we're playing. Okay. Come on, guys. Tone down with the positivity. When, when, when has that ever been spoken on social media? Let William Tapping on YouTube be William Tapping on YouTube. All right. I think this was to just All right. finish on up. Oh, what, what happened? We missed? Yeah. Missed the it's a 16 point game. It would make that 18. Oh, shoot. Sorry. Uh, Tiffany went out. She's back. There you are. Wow. Euro or big step Wiggins, but I love the Euro step. It is probably one of the most beautiful plays in basketball. I say bring in Mulder and Pascal. Oh, Smiley's coming in. Yeah, Mulder's coming in. I guess Pascal will just 
be out of the rotation. It's still tonight. <laughs> Smiley. I feel kind of bad because Smiley's done. There's no way, there's no room next year. We got to bring in probably two draft picks, right? Um, Justinian Jessup from Australia, possibly. I mean, there's not enough room for you, Smiley. There's really not. <laughs> How is that a foul on Wicks? I have no idea. He, like, pushed him away. Yo, challenge that. I think they might be. Is that why they're replaying it five times? That is minimal <laughs> contact. You know they're funny? challenging it. Wiggins, like, we didn't even notice Wiggins arguing. <laughs> He's so nonchalant. I mean, he was arguing, but uh, funny. Why do people like who? Smiley? Because his name, Smiley. No, someone said in the thing, why do people like him? I don't know who the hell they're referring to. Yeah, that's what I'm referring to. Smiley, I think. Oh, because you were saying there's no room for him. Is that there? What they say? Successful. Okay. All right, let's go. He's still in there scoring. Jeez. Who, Fox? <laughs> um, no, uh, is it Holmes? Halliburton? What's his name? Um, what's their center's name? Rashad Holmes? Holmes? Holmes, yeah. I was like, I don't know if I'm behind or, or ahead of y'all. It doesn't know where it's 18 points. What happened? Well, rough night for your wise men. And yeah. You know what? They're gonna That's okay. they're, oh, we still got two minutes. He's still I thought Smiley came in for Wiseman, my bad. They're both in there. Um I'm gonna have to take the podium the tonight. He's such a professional, though. Always takes the podium. Who, always, says, always says most definitely. <laughs> <laughs> He's a Is good that fucking bull cut. <laughs> Did I just say that? Oh man, I'm not gonna demonetize. I kill you. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking. I was like, uh, "Oh, are we?" I was like, "I've been over here trying to watch my mouth." I was like, "Oh, is it?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that one just tried. came it's, out. It was in very hard. hard. She's she's kind of like Draymond. <laughs> I've been trying not to be. I was trying my hardest. I was like, "Gosh, I can't." I was like, "Oh, let me just let me be quiet." <laughs> everyday ling lingo for me <laughs> yeah, me too <laughs> only one more minute to go and this uh suffering will be over oh gosh thank goodness oh. okay it's all right you guys i was like we did we we were closer in the game against the sixers and it's a better team you know what benzino needs needs to take william tapping to a game he deserves it like sometimes when when there's so much negativity on here i i, I wonder like do you go to games because like what would you do at games like, oh I love they're in sulk you know <laughs> like if you were to come to a game with benzino and he would pay for your ticket you damn well better not act like you're on twitter right 
So I think William Tapping deserves William come back on our show when we have Benzino. You'll get hooked up and you will not regret it. He will buy your ticket in an opposing arena. I love it. You deserve it. I just can't wait till we can go to games again. Jeez. Yeah. It's been way too long. I might try to go get a credential pretty soon. So you got to help me out and figure out what I should do when I'm there. Like vlog. I don't know. Then why weren't we doing Ooh, that all night? Why yeah, I know. All gear? night. We should have. Um, it, it could be it's lack awesome. of execution. They just forget to run the plays. I've coached teams where they just don't run my plays. Like, yo, you know, oh, wow. it happens. That was a solid contest. I'm okay with that. Cool. William Tapping was going to go to the game. Keep coming back, William. I swear, we get Benzino on here, he'll like, he'll practically get your phone number and, you know, go from there. Because <laughs> we need positive uh, people to, to root for the team on the road. That's like so important. Anyways, sad. that's it. Him and Luke Walton, Steve Kerr and Luke Walton are joking, so... You know, Steve Luke's is one of the most positive guys. Luke's like, oh, thank you for playing your guys, your young guys all night. <laughs> Thanks for the win. I'm going to say yeah, thanks they... for the comments. Who's coming up? Great pop. Look good. I need to hear him. It's been a minute. Um, uh, dang. Real quick. Well, let's, let's look ahead um, and probably take it away. Uh, Rebecca with what do we have coming up? Oh God, tomorrow, Atlanta at Chase Center, and then two games, two days of rest, Chicago, two more days of rest at your Miami Heat. Oh gosh. Lead us up to that one, Rebecca. Yeah, no. Oh. <laughs> oh, real quick. Start with what it's gonna look like and then end with us playing at the Heat. If you're gonna go to that and Oladipo, go. Okay, um, so yeah, thankfully we can put this one behind us. Tomorrow we'll have the Hawks. The Hawks actually, since um, firing their head coach, have been on a tear, um, I believe, going about like eight and one in their last few. Um, absolutely on a tear. Um, just traded today um, Rajon Rondo for Lou Will, which much uh, fits their system much better than Rondo, I think, especially when you already have a facilitator and a guy like Trey Young. Um, so definitely going to be a harder game tomorrow. Wiseman's going to go up against Clint Capella, which is going to be an interesting matchup to see. Um, so it definitely won't be a cakewalk um, as the Hawks have just been getting steadily better. Um, moving into against the Bulls, the Bulls made one of the biggest moves at the deadline today, uh, trading uh, for Nikola Vucevic, uh, who is going to be a big upgrade for them. He killed um, us. Yeah, he, he killed my heat every time. He's been killing the entire league. Um, add that with having All Zach star. Levine, who has just been phenomenal this year. Um, this is a good Bulls team. They're making up their, I believe – um, they're definitely in a playoff spot in the East. Um, they're playing extremely well. So that is going to, or they're out of a playoff spot. They're in the 10 in the East, but they've, um, uh, been a lot better, um, as of late. Um, All right, 30 seconds, Miami Heat, go. Um, well, the Heat by then will most likely have Oladipo. So we're going to see that, um, it all kind of depends and goes back to, do we see Steph by then? Um, I think that's still up in the air at this point. Um, I'm kind of nervous for how that game's going to go. Uh, but I do like, um, at least, uh, if I'm saying, uh, in terms of the heat, I do like the trades that they made today and who knows, we might even see LaMarcus Aldridge. I don't know how fast that will happen on the buyout market, but if he does go there, then there's that potential too, as well as Bielitsa, who we did not see tonight who got traded to Miami. All right, cool. All right, so we're going to go now. Um, Tiffany, are you around coming up? 
Um, yes, one of these games I will for sure be around. I'm traveling right, a little bit back and forth to the Bay, but I'll be around for one of these games. For All right. Sure. Thanks, everybody.